So, this is a Royal Enfield build again. As you can see, we've been working on the new exhaust system. Simon's just making the bosses now. And that'll be for the strap that holds the exhaust. As you can see, it tucks in quite nice. It's away from the side panel. So what Simon's making down on the lathe is a top part that's going to go in here and then it'll have a little bracket that comes round to pick a boss will be welded on back of here, you see where he's tacked it on but and it'll have a little arm that comes down and joins to this and that's what he's making now So what are you making Simon? Making the top boss for the exhaust mount. It goes on top of the shocker but it will also hold the shocker on at the same time. This is Simon our resident uh, fabricator. I've known Simon for must be at least 12 or 13 years now isn't it? Uh, Anson. Anson maybe yeah, yeah. Simon's worked for numerous custom builders over the years. We worked together in the past on uh, a couple of little projects a few years ago. But now he works at down and out full time. As you can see now as well, we've now got the big wheels in. So we're running 17s. We've had these relaced up. And we're running 170, 60, 17s. And these are called Anarchy Wilds. Same in the back. Oh, I forgot to mention these as well. These are little foot pegs we, uh, we've made for these as well. Um, they're a nice little addition. The bear traps. These are uh, headlamp brackets, which you'll see as soon as we button this job up. Obviously, this has got the wider forks in it, so you're going to have to. Uh, these will work with a normal headlight as well. They're all full stainless steel. We're going to be running LSL bars on this. We'll do away with all the original switch gear as we're going to run micro buttons all the way through so as you can see in the bottom of the bars there there's an hole there all the wiring from the button so these will be minimal there'll be no no wires on shoulder in down side of the bars it'll be all micro buttons different master cylinder This is one of our signature stainless steel exhaust cans. We use these on just about all his builds. It's a straight through system, no cat in it, so it'll be quite noisy, but this one's sort of, it's built for, for demonstration. It's one of our custom projects.
We've got the progressive suspension rear piggybacks. We've used these on stuff before and they're quite good shocks. Work really well, they've got the, the damping in them. We are going to put YSS cartridges in the front to get the front right. We've got a, we're just developing a wide mug guard system for this, obviously because it's got the bigger wheel in it and it's wider. You can't use the original fork brace in this. We are having some fork braces made for this, but for this one we're going to run a stainless system over the top that'll pick the mug guard up. Very similar to what we do on this Triumphs. Our mug guard system again. This is going to be available with a loop and the seat will come in different colours. And it's very similar to what we use on this Triumph. If I bang my leg on that thing again, and it's... Uh... <laughs> Thanks for looking. Subscribe, ring the bell, share the post. Uh, tune in next time when we'll be doing the mug guard on the front. Handlebars. Thanks for looking. Bye-bye.